So this whole point, as we're seeing non-duality, non-duality is a negation, a negation. The affirmation of non-duality comes from the recognition of duality. That's where its affirmation lies. Non-duality doesn't need to affirm a damn thing. What we see is what we're not, and in seeing what we're not, and you know what? You don't see what you're not. You see the activity that implies what you're not. And then you recognize you've been engaged in that complete activity to imply what you're not. There is only what we are. That's it. There's no what you're not. Yeah. But it's just an extension of what we are in a manifestation called duality. So in duality, what you are can have a certain like a shadow or a reflection called what you're not. Yes. And in this case, the what you're not has gotten taken a lot more interest and attention. And basically, it seemingly has forgotten what's casting it. Yeah. So the shadow believes it's an inherent, long lasting, independent thing. It doesn't see the, or recognize that it's being cast by what is. Yeah. And so the shadow's running around like it's what is. But it ain't. So there needs to be a seeming correction. When the correction is entertained, it's, show, it's revealed you didn't need a correction because there was never a what you are and what you're not. There's never been two. Yeah. We're using the two to negate something. That's all. There's never been two. The thief and the policeman are you. Yeah. You're the whole show completely. Yeah. Now, you know, maybe if you saw that that punch that was punching you all the time and you had a huge story about it, if you could recognize that and follow it and see it comes from you, then maybe there would be another possibility. Maybe you would stop. Who knows? <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I'll mention how I like you mentioning the middle finger, how like combined with that other <laughs> thing that if you hold up a middle finger, you've got three pointing back at yourself, but you added follow the arm. And then I'll add and combine that with, but then there, there's no, you find no head. <laughs> yeah. So I had a, there's a nice, uh, nice flow to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the meaning of the finger comes from the head. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, you, and then <laughs> a no head that gives it meaning. <laughs> If there's no head, well, there you go. <laughs> if there is no head, there's no finger, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whatever. <laughs> if you see what you're not is as what you are, there won't be any vanquishing it or fighting it or I've got to, I've got to, you know, fucking train it or discipline it. It's not so. It's just... It's like all the attention doesn't go to the, to, to the middle finger anymore. It moves and then you realize you see a much larger panoramic event going on. You see all the little breaking things into differences like minutes and seconds and that you, it loses all emphasis. Days just go from not even from one to another. It just goes on and on and on and on until it doesn't, you know, I mean, so <laughs> you can't say when you got on, you can't say when you get off, it's just going, 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 going. I mean, to me, the more this is entertained, it's not the more it entertained, it's just entertaining itself more. You really come out of the fucking mental cocoon of noun and verb, and you just feel like a verb, you know, you just things are happening. There's thoughts, feelings, and, you know, hearing things constantly all day. <laughs>
So yeah, it would be great if we could just say, oh, you're that. But see, there's an activity that you're that is involved with, which is taking itself to be something else. And what happens is that's usually the first one at the dinner table. So the first message, whatever message is being offered or, or put out, it's the one that says it ate it first. You know, so we need to notice this. Or if we don't notice it, it's going to produce an effect through our ability because we are the cause of all causes. We are the causes, cause of all effects. So without knowing it, we're going to be causing an effect. Yeah, the, the effect will be the lion, no matter how many times it hears it's a lion, is hearing it as a sheep. Yeah, so... Screw this, tell, you know, talking about being a lion, let's talk about the sheep, yeah, the sheeping. Let's see, and so hopefully the lion will see that it's been engaged in an activity called sheeping, yeah, that's claiming to be the hearer of every message. Then it will realize why it hasn't got the message I'm a lion, because it makes no sense, in fact, that the lion can't get the message it's a lion, yeah? It's so obvious when it hears the, this message, which is, oh, the lion has been taking itself to be a sheep. So everything it's done is being claimed as a sheep. Everything it's heard, and I'm, this is called non-duality, hasn't escaped that netting, yeah? Everything that's been heard has been heard as a sheep. And therefore, there's no point to keep, you're not gonna chant sit for a week pointing at each other, you're a lion, you're a lion, you're a lion, you're a lion, you're a lion. It's not going to work. It doesn't work. Yeah? It, does, it doesn't, the more you hear the message doesn't mean you're going to get the message. Being a lion shouldn't take 8,000 repetitions of you're a lion. There's something that's take, it's like diverting the message. It's not getting through, so to speak. Yeah? So therefore, there's got to be a new way to phrase the meetings or the phrase the presentation because the presentation of you're not a body to a body programming isn't going anywhere. It just confuses you completely because you're getting the message as a body. <laughs> so someone's coming and telling me I'm feeling like a body all day and they're telling me you're not a body. What the fuck? Yeah, I may want to believe it, but as a body, it's not going to gain much traction. It isn't. You can send you as a brain body to a, to a year long, you have no free will retreat. And as soon as you leave, you're going to think you made a choice at Starbucks. Probably because the programming is you have free will. It's the programming. We didn't just fall upon it. It's the programming of this whole event of of the imaginary non-existent thing, the non-existent thing is programmed to believe it has free will. Yeah? And so when it catch, hears the message, there is no free will, it just confuses the hell out of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bypass it. Why do you want to waste any more time talking to the sheep about being a lion? Yeah? Let's talk to the lion about being a sheep. Maybe this is a better way. I don't know, or at least another way. I went to talks. I heard what happened. Intentionally or not, it was leading me to thinking of something like I'm all I am is consciousness. <laughs> but it was being trying to be held as a body brain. It just didn't work. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whatever. That's what I'm going to do from now on. I'm going to oh, have people, I'm going to have personal uh, interviews. And uh, instead of having an x-ray, I'm going to have an x-ray of a tiger. And uh, I'll point out where you are in your okay. process. <laughs> if you're in the mouth, in the colon, somewhere in the kidney or the pancreas. Yeah. <laughs> Head fucking out the anus. And then I'll give you my <laughs> estimate when I think you'll from finally be pooped out. <laughs> It'll be, we can do a, we can do, we can, we can do a thing 
you put on your iPad screen, like, you know, in the plane, <laughs> when you take off, they have that little plane and it's moving, showing Boy, how well. slow you're going. We'll have a little picture of you moving through the digestive tract of the tiger. <laughs> 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 then you won't have to talk anymore. What? Then you won't have to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be cool. <laughs> so don't, hey, if you haven't, if your head has, hasn't been in a tiger's mouth, run. <laughs> see, but see, Ramana was, I felt he was implying that if you've heard this message or you're hearing this message, you're already in the tiger's mouth. Yeah, it's, it's over. Yeah. So why not just, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine if one day it dawned on you, you've been waiting to be free while you were free all along? <laughs> because you have ideas that you have no idea how much faith is in that it, ha it would have to look a certain way for you to be authenticated as being free. <laughs> and then at the last moment, when you pass away, all the roles that you played as God, the judge, this and that would be seen right through. Yeah. Yeah. Why not now, eh? <laughs>